You're here at Gunston School. We're on the Corsica River. You're about to see the most exciting sport in the world, high school crew races. We've got the Gunston crew. We'd like you to meet them. Captain? This is the Gunston crew, 2015. One, two, three. Go Gunston! See you on the water. Coach, how about introduce yourself? How are you doing? I'm Nikki Stimson. I'm the director of rowing here at the Gunston School. Now, Nikki, we've got a beautiful location, a beautiful day. What are we about to see today? We're going to have our annual Heron Cup, which is the team's inter-squad race. Okay. And the crews are going to line up, kind of six, six boats across, and they're going to stagger the start with a handicap. And the name of the game is to get across the finish line first. And the winner gets the Heron Cup? The Heron Cup and a, and a T-shirt. All right. You can't be bad. Now, tell me a little bit about the a rowing program here at Gunston School. The program was established in 2006 and we're really starting to hit our stride. Uh, last weekend, we uh, participated in the, the um, Maryland State Championships. How'd you do? Our boys uh, Varsity 4 placed third in the state. All right, congratulations, and our coach. Women's, uh, junior Varsity 4 placed fourth in the state. All right, great, great. So crew, I hear, is one of the fastest growing sports here at Gunston. Most definitely. All right. Yeah. Now, Coach, tell us a little bit about yourself. What's your background? Uh, for the 11 years, I was the women's assistant rowing coach at the Naval Academy. And then uh, two Which years... has one of the nation's greatest programs, yeah. Olympic champions, I believe, in 56. Yep. So it's a wonderful program at the Naval Absolutely. Academy. Absolutely. Uh, and then when I saw the Gunston School about two years ago, um, and I saw that it was a young program, it was like, you know what? I need to be here. And it's been just a great experience ever since. And, Coach, you couldn't pick a most beautiful setting, right? I mean, good golly. I mean... Now, do you normally work out every day with the kid? What's our procedure for crew uh, rowers? So we practice Monday through Friday during our sports period that goes from 220 to 420 and uh, pretty much on the water, you know, weather permitting every day uh, starting in March until May. And then we also have a season in the fall and okay. we start in August and we run through October as well. We're delighted to have the headmaster of Gunson School. Thanks a million for being with us. Thank How you about you introduce yourself to the audience? Uh, I'm John Lewis. I'm the headmaster here at Gunson. I've been the headmaster uh, since 2000. Now, John, the Gunston is growing. Uh, you're doing a great job with sports, academics, and the crew team I'm excited about. Tell me some exciting things going on at Gunston School. Well, as you said, uh, we are growing, so we've had our highest enrollment the last uh, several years, but I think today uh, the focus is really on the crew team, and uh, it is the fastest growing sport at Gunston. Almost a third of our kids do water sports, and it starts with the coaching, uh, you know, Coach Stimson and the student athletes. You got a lot of energy with those coaches. I can't wait to meet yeah, the crew members. They're really special, and uh, what's great is that this, it's um, she cultivates a student culture, uh, and it's really the students. It's amazing to watch these students over the course of the year, how hard they work, and if you, in the middle of the winter, you go into our gym and you see 40 students and it looks like some kind of torture session but it's actually crew practice <laughs> it's legal. It's legal. <laughs> it is you think she, you think she's the dean of students but uh, she's actually the crew coach <laughs> the nice thing about Gunson you're encouraging kids on the academic side and the athletic side but what a gorgeous setting when, when uh, ever who made this decision of crew you couldn't have picked a prettier spot well I think our location uh, is uniquely um, aligned with crew so it's very few schools can you finish class at two o'clock and by walk out the back yeah, door and two, hop in a show five you're down on the water and so uh, i think that's one of the reasons that crew has proven so popular as uh, sailing is also very popular here Great. Okay, you're now watching the QAC TV Navy. We're out on the Corsica River uh, with a Gunston crew coach. Coach, now what's going on now? The kids are getting in their boats. What, what actually procedure do we do before the race? So they, they've each launched. Usually I meet with the crews prior to going out, um, try to give them an epic, you know, pre-race talk. Okay. Right. Uh, then they, they aim the Vince Lombardi one. Let's try, you know, um, and then they all head out usually about 45 minutes prior to the race time. So okay. if we were at an actual regatta, depending on when the race time would be, there'd be a very... So this is a warm-up period? This is their warm-up period. So each boat has their own specific warm-up that they run through, practice some starts, because all the crews will start from a standstill. Now, we're going to be watching six crews in action today. Correct. So there'll be a boys' varsity four. You mm -hmm. Walk me through who's going to be racing. Uh, boys' varsity four, boys' JV four, and then we'll have a men's double out there today. Really, my goal here at Gunston is just to get as many kids on the water Get them involved. Get them involved. Okay. So, so, um, we had a couple kids out sick today, so we had, you know, some... some it's springtime. Spring fever happens to crew teams too, right, yep. Coach? So okay. We'll have a men's novice eight, 
and then uh, a women's varsity four and a women's JV four. Now we can't see right now, but up behind us at Gunston School, you've got a whole hill full of parents. I understand. Absolutely, okay. they're probably you know probably the most enthusiastic group of parents I've ever worked with, and you know just super excited about the sport. And, and afterwards, are you gonna have a breakfast for them or a brunch? Usually, yeah, they you know tailgate pretty much every regatta. Well, they we tailgate in oh, crew yeah. coach. Hey, Holy mackerel! Now, Coach, we're, we're looking at your uh, probably best crew. Yep. This is a men's varsity four. Now, tell me a little bit about their success this year. So, uh, last weekend, they placed third at the Maryland State Championships. Now, that's pretty amazing. I mean, you're talking about Walter Johnson High School in Montgomery County, yep. thousands of kids. Yep. Uh, number two place. was number DeMatha. Two, two was DeMatha. A noted powerhouse in sports, and Gunson School was becoming a powerhouse. Yep, absolutely. It was, a, it was just a really amazing experience to watch these guys kind of just you know, coming coming in fourth at the beginning of the race, and then last 500 meters to go, they just picked it up, and then they wanted it. So, you know. Coach, who are the rowers? Uh, in stroke seat today is Ethan Boone. He's a sophomore. In the three seat behind him is Caleb Enriquez. He's a senior. Behind him in two seat is John Panner, our men's captain. He's also a senior. Bauman is um, uh, Ben Jones, who's also a sophomore. And then our coxswain is uh, Eli Shute who's also a sophomore. So a pretty young boat, you know, considering. And everyone has to understand, they row 1,500 meters, a metric mile. Yep, they, they yep, that's the distance for high school. Yep. Now, to give everybody a, a yardstick, I row a mile in 10 minutes on my erg. These guys row a mile in a crew how quick? Just under uh, five, six minutes. I, I can't brush my teeth in six minutes. So, I mean, that's terrific time. And they work out all year round. Yep, these, all, all four of these guys have been um, here since preseason in, in August. And they've trained all through the winter, and now here they are in the spring, and it's really, really paying off, and it's very exciting to see that. Now, this young of a crew took third in the state. What, what's going to happen in two years? I don't know. This guy's They're knocking at the door, Coach. They're knocking at the door. <laughs> Now, Coach, right off our bow here, we have one of the women's groups. Want to talk about Correct. that? This is my women's JV4. Uh, they won their heat at States last week, and then they came in fourth place really close. I even thought they had gotten third. Um, and they're, it's in the state championship. This is at the state championship, yeah. It's a JV team. JV team, um, all sophomores and juniors in this boat. Um, the, the coxswain, Natalie Prochaska, is a sophomore. Our stroke is uh, Olivia Sherman, also a sophomore. And then the round out the juniors is uh, three seat Kylie Nauman, two seat Sarah Bryant, and Bauman uh, Natalie Propora. Uh, so I've got two Natalies. Too many Natalies. Get a little con confusing. Now, sometimes. Coach, help us out. We got a lot of baseball and football fans out there, but it was we look. They're taking pictures. Explain the coxswain where they're sitting and the numbering of the, uh, the, sure. the rowers. Um, so our our coxswains are we mostly row in, in bow loader boats, meaning the coxswain will sit in the bow, and that helps the boat to move faster through the water. Uh, the stroke is the person setting the pace, so they're closest to the stern, and then goes three, two, one, or the bow seat. Okay. And what we're basically doing, the coxswain is steering the boat. She's steering the boat. She's she's making the commands. And coaches are not allowed to coach during a just race. Just like tennis, you just yep. you get to watch. So I have to sit on my hands and, and entertain the TV and crew. Coach, it's ugly. I, do, I look at that contract again. So they're in charge, and uh, that's it's just a huge leadership role uh, in the boat. There. The co and the coxswain's usually a fairly light person. Is that yep, usually light, um, very light, very smart. I always joke around. If, if I see a short woman or a man, I say, "You're my coxswain. You're, you're like bossing people around. You're my guy." So. Now, where were, where are the power positions in the fours. Usually, um, By that it, I mean, for the audience, what that means is where the strength of the, the crew is. Usually strength, or we call it the engine room, is in the middle of the boat. Um, so the, the stroke is kind of the most determined person in the boat, the better technique, they kind of set the pace. Your engine room is in the middle, and then your bowman also has light, has, light, has good technique as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that gives us a good view of a boys and girls four with Cox, and, and these are the best teams you have? This is, yeah, yeah, so far. Okay, getting closer to race time. All right. All right, Coach, got another crew dead ahead. It looks like a men's pair. Tell us about uh, yeah, that. This is our men's double. Um, you know, just kind of getting everybody out in the water today. These are two of our seniors, Tristan McCarthy and Jonah Webb. Okay. And, All right. uh, just getting getting some getting, getting some a, getting a workout. And Absolutely. it's a beautiful day to do it. Yeah. So it looks like you've got everybody basically here. you got everybody yeah. here. You have eight, you got, thirty some people rowing. I do. Yeah, thirty nine on the roster. Terrific. A yeah. great great sport and a great opportunity for these young kids. And look at what a great environment, oh, right? It's, it's great. Coach, we've got our varsity uh, fours with Cox, and they're all seniors, and I all know they want to beat this JV yep. team there. You want to introduce them to us, please? Sure. Uh, our stroke seat is Elizabeth Clemens. 
Three seat is Claire Ingersoll, two seat is Savannah Gervais, and our coxswain is Belinda Chen. They're all seniors. And then our bowman is Aggie Raymond. So we got Aggie one more year. She's a junior. Now, how, will this be a close race with the seniors? Yeah, one blood today? Uh, again, the, the JV's been giving them a run for their money as well. Okay. So it's been good. It's been It'll good. be fun. Good competition. And the nice thing, we'll have races within races today. Absolutely. We'll have for first place in yeah. the Heroin Cup. Then we'll have the uh, Varsity Four versus JV Four in both JV and I mean, both uh, men and women. It's going to mm -hmm. make this interesting. Oh, definitely. Okay, yep. Good. All right. Place your bets. Okay. Okay, Coach, we've met the men's and women's fours. Now you've got a novice eight, which is what most people know about when they watch the mm -hmm. Olympics. Tell us about this crew. So the, um, this is our kind of our younger group. Uh, just learned to row this year, most of them. Um, and um, all these guys came out in the fall, except for two of them, or three of them, and um, really have had a great year. As a yeah, these are first-year rowers. First-year rowers, correct. Mostly, so, uh, mostly freshmen, and then a few upper class in the mix as well. How they, did they get the run, uh, rowing any races at all they this year? They in a few races, and um, they had a great run in the fall. And um, they also had um, a pretty competitive group at the States as well. So. so this is your future. This is the future. Now, Coach, one thing we haven't done, how about a shout-out to you? I know you have two kids. So you, you, your chance. Come on. Everyone's got to do that. Hi, Will and Matthew. <laughs> okay. Now you're safe at home. And thank you for your husband for taking care yes, of the kids thank you, today. Rick. <laughs> Rick, you're a good man. Double is off. One minute, we're going to start the women's boats. Lauren back in the eight. Stern pair Lauren back in the eight. Eli Stern pair back in. Go to Eli Wayne up, hold water, hold water in the eight, hold water in the eight, hold water, hold water. Hold alignment. Coach, we just saw the winners of the first Heron Cup were your... Uh, the Boys Novice 8. And they get t-shirts and... T-shirts. And, and bragging rights. Oh, that's, and that's the yeah. biggest, that's the most important part, the bragging rights. Yeah, any surprises? Um, no, no, I think everyone rode a fantastic race, and, um, you know, it's just great to get these guys yeah. out on a beautiful... And they all did well, and yes. and I thought your, uh, your doubles guys, who I thought were going to abandon they ship, they came, there. they hung in there. Well, Coach, this has been a lot of fun. Thanks for Thanks for coming. appreciate it. We've been at Gunston School today where the Gunston's rowers have been celebrating an event called the Heron Cup. The varsity novice team won the championship. They're relaxing now after a, for a nice post-race snack. This is Fred McNeil. You've been watching QAC TV Sports. Thank you for watching us. My time's up. Thank you for your time. We're going to see you next time.